In this video, we are going to learn how to solve arithmetic progression AP. You can see calculator easily in a matter of seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, you'll be able to solve arithmetic progression AP. We can see FS, Nana 1 ES plus calculator easily in a matter of seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. So, stay with me till the end of this video. Okay, let's begin. Let's look at the example I have here and solve it together. Example here says the system of an arithmetic progression is 12 and 30 time is 180. So we are asked to determine A, the first term, B, find the 50 second term, C, if the end term is 250, find the end term, and lastly, D, what is the common difference of the sequence? So right now, Let's bring the castle calculator we use to solve these problems together. They are very, very simple with the castle calculator. Okay. To begin with, you will have to put the calculator in statistics mode. And to do that, you press the mode button and go for category 3. It represents statistics. You press 3 and go for option 2. It represents AP. So you press 2. So once you get to this point, you begin to impute the values respectively. The S values represent the number of terms for the sequence. So the C term there is 12. So you get to Y and press 12, impute 12 there under C. So you go back to X value. So the that's it, down there is 180. So go to Y and put 180 under 30. Now note that as you are imputing the values, they are being stored in the calculator automatically. So once you are done, you wipe them, these values, out, knowing that they are already stored in the calculator automatically. So, having known that, let's now begin to find the first term, the second term, end term, and the common difference. To begin with, press shift this button one and go for category five, the OEG and go for the symbol under option 5, so you press 5. So once you do it, you begin to find the number of terms. We will use this symbol to find the number of terms and the common difference. So let's begin with the first term. You go in front of the symbol by press 1. So let's put the code and see our first term minus 23. So our first term is minus 23. Okay, let's find the 50 second term. You go in front of the symbol and remove one. I replace it with 52. Okay, our 50 second term is 334. Okay, let's now find the common difference. What you need is to go in front of the symbol and move 52. Now to find this common difference, what we do will be to impute the term after 6, which is 7, minus what 6 is in the sequence we have there. So 6 is 12. Let's find the part and find the common difference. 7. So it's either you do it this way or you do it this other way. Let's now remove 7 and put the term after 30, which is 31. So minus what 30 is in the sequence. 30 is 180. Very, very simple. 
7. So it's either you do it the other way or you do it this way. You will still get the same value as the common difference. So right now, let's go and find the end term. Having gotten first term, the second term, and common difference, let's find the end term now. To do that, you wipe these values out. Press shift button one and go for option five. Then this time I want you go for symbol under four. So you go for this symbol under four instead of going for the symbol under five. So this is the symbol you use to find the end time. So you press four. So we are asked to find the end time if the end time is 250 find the end time so you go in front of this symbol and press 250 and then press record and see your end time 40 so our end time is 40 so if you want to check if the end time is correct what you simply do will be to wipe this out and go back to the same under five shifts so you press shift button one and five so go in front of this place this symbol and press 40 and see if it will give you 250 250 so the end time 40 is correct so this is basically how you can solve arithmetic progression with cancer calculator very very simple so with this we have come to the end of this class once you are done you clear the calculator to remove it from statistics mode and to do that you press shift 49 and follow the instruction you press 3 equal to equal to so we have cleared the calculator now very very simple so that's it for this class guys if you are new to our channel make sure you subscribe to our channel for more for videos also like share and comment on this video to tell me how you feel about what you have learned in this class if you seem to have any specific question to ask regarding what i have taught in this class feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and i will ensure to give you a response thanks for watching this video